to do the first loop voice, and I do the, all the other ones. By the way, this is Professor Layton and the Curious Village. I am Duckball. Hello. I am also Dragon76, and I have played Professor Layton before, but Not I... Not this one. God help us! I know about the other ones, but I've only really played through three, and even then I hate to admit I sort of cheated. I will do a proper playthrough of it, though. Well, I'd love you to help me on some of these, so I'll let's -a go! What is Mario doing in Professor Layton? He's not British, he's Italian. The... You... That was a V. Yeah. That was another V. I hate this. I forgot this how I made a K last ever. time. Oh, wait, I remember. You have to make, like, a... You have to make a cursive K. Oh, I hated in doing my name in this. Why did they use that system for, like, every flippin'... Oop. Duck ball! I'm tempted to make... Oh, I couldn't even make a an exclamation point if I wanted to! Oh, well. <laughs> By the way, to my dear friend Duck Ball... That's the not... things we saw that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from awesome everyone for audio quality. Usually this sucks. Because, you see... American voice for Luke! Okay, the audio just went to crud. What's going on?! I don't hear it going to crud. It's going to crud, just trust me. Probably because of the Latemobile, go! Good enough! We're back, by the way. Sorry about the flight skip and cutscene. Duckball wasn't satisfied with the audio quality. I'm still not satisfied with the audio quality, but still. It's because of the cinematic. Impossibly. Okay? It takes up more memory. Oh. Okay. Should be fine now. I don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to You're help so derpy. dispute? He sounds so cute! Look, my boy. Do you, you really think, think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? that? Ah! So, no. This is an altogether it's unique and exciting situation. And it has piqued my intellectual <laughs> curiosity. I just messed up. Whoops. But I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. Please do. Two months ago, Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Oh, I forgot my I forgot my glasses. Hold on. Shortly Wait, after his glasses? death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating to say the least. Actually, you wear glasses? No, I don't. I sunglasses. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. I was going to say, as soon as he started ask, saying about... <laughs> to I'll get to it. To successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Yep, Mr. Durpenstein. Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. I guess his puzzle just got... solved. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that's a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. And at which point I tried figure like out, figuring out even more professor. of those and failed miserably. Well, again, it sort of requires you abstract what? thinking Just at points. You kind of have to think outside the anyhow. box. Be creative. And sometimes it's just a bit. Some speculate it's a rare antique, while others say it could be a gem. Yet its identity remains elusive. But Luke, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery. It sounds like this apple has a worm in it. Yeah! 
<laughs> that was pitiful. Pitiful! I'm sorry! <laughs> Is that your famous intuition acting up again, and Professor? Not you, no. pitiful. Me, pitiful. No, that was a pitiful like pun. Ugh. Hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. No duh. This is all so exciting. And this puzzle, this first puzzle, I'm just gonna breeze through because I've done it like twice by now. I hope Sister Stair is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle solving detective Herschel Layton. Hershey Layton. Question. Hershey Question. Park. Yay! No. Question. What? Um. Oh, Skype is blinking, and I want to answer it so much, but I can't. What were you no, saying? Come on. Sorry. Sorry. Are you going to use safe states for whenever you lose pick a rats, or are you just going to go through? Probably for the harder puzzles, yes. Like, that one clock puzzle that I was looking for hint coins? Yeah, that's definitely going to get it. Because I think you get special things depending on how many pick a rats you get through the game with. Yeah, I know. By the way, note, St. Mister, that's how it's pronounced. We're probably going to forget this. <laughs> oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. But we all know very well that, Luke, you are such a derp. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. I guess she was caught. Red-handed. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> these are getting worse! And you Can immediately decided to take what? us on a request, huh? Can we stop with those? <laughs> okay, I'll try. Or whoever it is. <laughs> Maybe I'll stumble across a very well, good one. A true gentleman never refuses the request of a I hope. lady. If it sounds if terrible, I'll try not to so, say it. Professor. I should stop talking over the dialogue. We should yes, be near the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. You got it. What in the? What's this? Should have used MapQuest. You should have used MapQuest. Maybe even Google Maps. Lady Dahlia seems to have given us a test. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. Then again, Google Maps would have given us the same thing. So she wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Rhine It looks like a normal map to me. Yeah, un unless, of course, she made up, Can't like, the towns to go, and such. The town's I'll layout? I'll do my best. A puzzle like this should be a snap for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. And even more of a snap for me, because I've done this Very twice. Well, then, Luke. I'll leave or this so. one to you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. Spoilers. It's the red one. <laughs> Ten Picarats. Let me read out the puzzles, at least, can I? My village is on a road that leads to no other town. I look forward to seeing you there. Use your stylus to draw a circle around the right village, and then touch Submit. It's the red one. Yep. Well, here's my guess! Dirt finger! Yay! Ladies Objective! It makes me wonder if I, if I just tapped on it or like made the tiniest little circle, if I, like speedrunning tactic. You drew all over the bloody map. What have you done? Gosh darn it! Do you know how ma how expensive maps are? Or how expensive this isn't are? your this isn't your coloring book. Sheesh. There we go. Now we should be able to make our way to the village. Cause I drew all over the map. We should see. See, look at these scribbles. Why are you huh? bashing on Luke? Professor, do you mean to say you already figured out the town's location? And made the map completely useless? <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. Or with practice. Oh, oh, or with pra you. practicing the Anyhow, puzzle. You'd best gather your things, said. Luke. We've, We've arrived. arrived. It is a rather simple puzzle once you you know, through process of elimination. Professor Layton in the Epic Curious three. Village, because we haven't seen this cutscene before, totally. Oh my god, no, stay here, don't touch it. This is the first on an okay, I won't touch allows it. you to see the whole thing, and that is fucking awesome. The entire village or something? 
No, the entire type of screen. Instead of it being, you know, separated by the two screens. <sighs> Alright. It's just because of my, okay, like, emulator. Emulator is awesome. Yay. It is aw- it- Whoa. Slow down. Whoa. Down. Look at me walking in slow motion. The Dude, can do that uh, Layton, Layton, I think you need to fix your fix your collar. Whatever. I think it's okay. It's actually supposed that, to be folded over. That tower is fucked up. I d I swear the buildings in I swear the buildings in this oh wait all the other buildings are fine that's the only inbred building apparently buildings it's a tower of buildings interesting it appears that the straw bridge is the entrance to the village well you okay. I'm going to try my my Luke voice when we get in there. Okay. Oh damn it! Oops, sorry. Oh, over there. There's a man standing on the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun doing this voice. Wait. There are hint coins. I'm sorry. I'll get them. I don't know. Good day. Just click Good... around. Sorry. Good day, sir. Sorry. We'd very much Again, like don't... to gain access to the village. Would you please drop the bridge for us? Do I look like the sort of dropping a bridge for a bunch of fancy looking outsiders? <laughs> hmm. I don't care if your head is higher than your head. You got a lot of nerve, <laughs> Mr. Fancy Head. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia? Well, I'd sure like to lower the bridge for you, Mr. Fancy Pants. But the engine's busted and I can only move this blasted bridge with the hand crank. Hmm. And only in slow motion, too. Cause it's gonna do that. I just know it. There are all these infernal slots and stuff I could put the crank in, but I got no clue which one to use. Except I do, cause I did this puzzle. Hmm. So, smart guy, you got any idea which one is the right one? Of course you do. Yeah, Professor Freakin' Lee. Yay! This puzzle is worth 15 picarats. There's no way to lower the bridge and get across without inserting the crank into the correct slot. Choose the slot that fits the crank shown below. Doop. Doop. <laughs> Luke, here's my answer. Puzzle! Giant finger! Another OBJECTION! Puzzle objection! Oh gosh. Nice job. Now drop that bridge! Drop it like it's hot! Oh gosh! <laughs> That'll do it! Hold on a sec, I'll let her down in slow motion. This is harder to do, to do than normal! I'm gonna say it again, just don't feel- I just don't feel right about letting outsiders into St. Mister. But if you're Lady Dahlia's guest, I guess I better. At least give her my regards, you hear? Puzzle number two, the crank of flaws now in your puzzle index and stuff. <laughs> Slow motion cranking! <laughs> you are so good at this duck ball! Go down, you stupid- Bridge. Finally. Now we're, we're going to slowly walk across the street. Look, Professor, we're walking in slow motion. I say, the slow motion is going to blow my hat off. <laughs> oh I no, never mind. It's fine. It's securely on my head, which is taking up the entirety of the inside of my head hat. My brain is just that <laughs> large and cylindrical. Yes, we finally arrived in St. Mister. I'm so excited. I wonder what Miss Diaries await us here. What the hell? Are you making me sound retarded? <laughs> exactly! I read that and I was like... <laughs> oh, this is stupid. <laughs> Miss Diaries. <laughs> 
Well, Luke, we'll find out soon enough, you derp face. Hopefully my IQ will go up! Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to derp. I mean, analyze your surroundings. <laughs> derp? What does that mean? You'll find out when you're older. I say, Luke, this is a perfect time to stop the video! Ah, I just noticed what time it was! We'll be back, folks!